Welcome back, nerdlings. We're going to talk about cell junctions. This is where cells touch each other. This will be an extremely short lecture, and it's a continuation of the cytoskeleton lecture. So plant cell walls have three different layers. They are composed of cellulose. They have a primary cell wall, a secondary cell wall, and they have a middle layer called lamellae. And this is composed of a sticky fluid, and they're composed out of polysaccharides. Poly meaning many, and saccharide meaning sugar. So if you look at this micrograph right here, we have our primary cell wall. We have secondary cell wall, and there are actually three layers of a secondary cell wall. And then we have this middle portion, which is that sticky lamellae that's composed of polysaccharides. We have intracellular junctions in plant cells, and those are called the plasmodesmata. These are channels that allow cytosol to pass between cells. So it allows the cytosol from one cell to pass to the next. So if you look at this picture right here, or this diagram, these are these plasmodesmata, those channels that are allowing cytoplasm from this cell to flow into the cytoplasm of the next cell. The animal surface, we have an extracellular matrix and it's composed of collagen fibers and a network of glycoproteins. They serve for the functions of support, adhesion, movement, regulation, and cell-to-cell -cell recognition. Animal cells have three types of junctions. We have tight junctions. These are where membranes of adjacent cells fuse together, forming a barrier between the cells and it forces material through the cell membrane. We have gap junctions, which are where communicating junctions take place. This allows the cytoplasmic movement between the adjacent cells. We also have desmosomes. These are anchoring junctions, and they fasten cells together in strong sheets. That's about all we're gonna talk about junctions for in the lecture. I wanna make sure you guys take note and and take a lot of good notes over the cell junctions in your book. It goes into a lot more detail, so please make sure you make your diagrams of all of the different cell junctions. I'll see you guys later. Good night.